right, so this is my 2005 IS 300. One of the vehicles I've always trying to own a red one for many years, but I've owned a silver, blue ones, green ones. No, I don't even think green ones. No, still, still on the bucket list. Um, what's another? Black ones. Many colors that you could think of. Some weird colors too. But this is the first time ownership of an actual red one. So I'll do, um, this is gonna be mostly about like restoration of a full vehicle. Has some few stuff I have to fix. Came with a few surprises too. Other than that, I mean, the car does need a little bit of his touch up, you know, the previous owner had. Couple of stuff inside of here. But nothing like, you know, a little bit of TLC. Uh, everything else looks fine. You know, some new just paint fading here, just gonna have to repaint some part of the vehicle. And a little bit of the windshield cracked. I might have to get this too. I mean, it came, the car came like this, but I guess they got the previous owner hit it or something. It looks like it's been repainted too. Yeah, it needs a lot of paint. This is gonna be one good series of this car. Right now, what we're looking at is that we have a little problem that inside the gas is a mixture of water as well. Remove the fuel pump. And this, you could be inside of this car and you won't even smell the fuel. Because you know, you open the fuel pump, you're supposed to smell fuel inside here pretty strong, but it smells pretty light for gas. So I have to go get a bucket to take it out and it's $20 in gas. See if I get to crank it up. Bro, the crazy fact is that I'm always doing trips, man. I'm over here now going heading to. To the yard to pick up a line. I don't even know what you call that. A line to suck out the gas out. You probably, you probably already know what I'm talking about. It sucks up all the gas out of there into a bucket. From there, I'm just dipping the new gas inside. Hopefully, it turns on. And the last thing I want to do is to swap the motor to a new one. What the homies here? What? I got some second hands to put in the work, man. Stop playing, man. Yo, this man has done like five engine swaps, man. This man is on another level right now. I don't like where this is going. to record but I'll throw in some clips of what happened A few moments later. searching inside a car and found something pretty interesting. OEM stuff, the data shit. It has an extra key. 
couple of paperwork and this little thing right here. able to finish recording the video yesterday it got kind of too dark and I took kind of long mounting up the transmission mounts and the engine mounts we're almost we almost done mechanical wise with the red IS only thing I'm missing is the coil packs and the battery and we'll be done the mechanical wise with it yesterday the only thing I did was buy new spark plugs and oil change make sure it plays safe Another thing I'm gonna have to be left is just check the transmission fluids and the diff fluids. See if everything is all right. But that will be all for the next video. I mean, this week's videos that will be uploading later on after this video is uploaded. It's uh, the, the part two, interior disinstallation. And uh, our trip to Sibring on the 27th. Cat, you don't want to miss that video. It's gonna be a really good video with the boys all heading up to Sibring for the, one of the most best drift events up there. With that being said, see ya, boys, next time. <laughs>